I recently did a video listing five times that Batman has gotten superpowers, a link to which is in this video's description. And a lot of people have been commenting on that video asking why I didn't include the times that Batman has wielded a power ring. And the main reason that I didn't mention them is that I knew I was going to do this video, which is going to go over the four different lantern cores that Batman has wielded so far in comics, TV shows, video games and movies. The Sinestro Lantern Core Let's start with the Fear Lantern Core, after all Batman keeps the criminals of Gotham in line with fear. And just before the Sinestro War comic event, a Sinestro Core Ring of Fear came to Batman as he had the ability to instill great fear. The ring chose him and went on his finger. However, after merging with Batman, the ring sensed both great willpower inside Batman and that he had previously had contact with a Green Lantern Core ring. And so the Sinestro Core ring rejected him and flew off. Which is a great shame, as seeing him with a yellow ring would have been a great story to read. And I feel I should mention that most people feel the only reason this happened at all is so that the artist could draw Batman in the Sinestro Corps Batsuit outfit, and then the toy companies could sell the Sinestro Corps Batman as a toy. So it wasn't actually needed for the story at all, they just wanted it done so they could sell toys. Of course, there's no way of knowing if this is true or not, though personally I could easily believe it being true because toy companies do have a lot of power when it comes to comics. But in any case, a long time after this issue came out, Batman did actually wear a yellow lantern ring properly in the comic event Forever Evil. As most people know, Batman always has a plan, and he has several precautionary plans to take out the Justice League members should he need to. And in the comics, he now has boxes for each of the Justice League members. Each box has something inside it for taking out a Justice League member, such as the Kryptonite ring for taking out Superman. And for taking out Green Lantern, he has a Sinestro Core ring. And when Batman fights a Hal Jordan Green Lantern from another universe who's called Power Ring, he finally wields a Sinestro Lantern Core ring properly, using a bat as his fear construct, for fairly obvious reasons. Unfortunately, Batman doesn't use it for long, as the charge is all but gone from the ring. And as Sinestro reveals later in the comic book issue, Batman has actually resisted the power of the ring, most likely because giving over to the ring means he'd lose his self-control, and Batman values his self-control very highly. But in any event, the combination of him not giving himself over fully to the ring and the ring's low power level means that the ring is destroyed by this Green Lantern. It's a shame that Batman didn't really wear the ring for that long, as it would have been great to read, and I really hope they do a movie or TV series or even better, video game one day that sees Batman as a Sinestro Core member, or at least wielding the yellow ring for a decent amount of time, as that would be awesome to watch. Though with that being said, in the video game Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, one of the unlockable and playable characters is a Batman wearing the Sinestro Core ring. Although I was thinking of a game more in the style of the Arkham games. And in fact you can actually play as the Sinestro Core Batman in the video game, but you have no Sinestro Core powers, it's just a mod for Batman's Batsuit. And I prefer a game where you actually have Lantern Ring powers, but it still does look pretty cool. And a similar Sinestro Core skin is available on the Injustice Gods Among Us video game. Though again this doesn't give Batman any Sinestro Core powers, it's just a mod for his Batsuit. The Green Lantern Ring of Willpower Although fear seems more Batman's speed, he has actually wielded a Green Lantern Ring more times than a yellow one. He uses it briefly after teaming up with Green Lantern to take down the Tattooed Man. After the two have taken him down and are back in the Batcave, Green Lantern gives him his ring to use, and Batman makes a construct of his parents. The idea of him lending Batman the ring is to help Batman finally let go of his fear and let his willpower take over instead. Basically, finally getting over the death of his parents because as Hal Jordan says, the ring helped him overcome the grief from seeing his father die, and he wants to do the same for Batman. But Batman tells Green Lantern that he is not ready to let it go. It's actually quite a touching moment between the two, which between these two doesn't happen very often, as they're normally butting heads at one another. And a perfect example of that appears in both the film Justice League War and the Justice League comic that it's adapted from, as Batman takes off Green Lantern's ring when he first meets him, to prove his skill and that he is not just a guy in a bat suit. Although almost immediately after, Green Lantern quickly summons the ring back and Batman doesn't stop him. You won't do that again. Unless I want to. 
And in the comic event Dark Side War, Batman becomes the god of knowledge when he sits in Metron's chair. Unfortunately, later on when he needs to leave the chair, he struggles to get off of it as he has to give up its great power. So Green Lantern gives him his ring so that Batman can use it to focus his willpower and get out of Metron's chair. And it works, and afterwards Batman of course gives the ring back to Green Lantern. And in the comic event Dark Knight's Metal, one of the evil Batmen also had a power ring. In the comic book Batman the Dawnbreaker we get to see his origin. And in this world, just after Bruce Wayne's parents are murdered, a Green Lantern ring attaches to him, and he then uses this to get revenge on the man who killed his parents, Joe Chill. Now the Green Lantern Corps rings can't actually kill people at this point, but Bruce Wayne's willpower is so strong that he's able to break the ring's control and use it to kill his parents' murderer. And after this, Bruce Wayne goes on to become a Green Lantern who kills most of Batman's rogues gallery and eventually learns how to use the ring to pull out his darkest demons from inside his mind in an event that he calls the Blackout. And he uses this power on Gotham City and on the Green Lantern Corps who later come to take this ring back as they find out he's murdering people with it when he shouldn't be able to. And after he defeats the Green Lantern Corps, he decides to no longer be Bruce Wayne and becomes Batman the Dawnbreaker and then soon after he joins with the other evil Batman. And in the TV show, The Batman, the Hal Jordan version of Green Lantern is fighting Sinestro, and he is losing quite badly, and in order to stop Sinestro from getting his ring, he sends it to find Batman in Gotham City. Uh, uh, find Batman. Safe with him. Unfortunately, his ring ends up being found and worn by the Penguin, who then uses it to go on a crime spree throughout Gotham City and Sinestro comes searching for it and Batman manages to get the green ring off of Penguin before Sinestro does and he briefly wears it himself and he fights Sinestro. Well, that isn't what I had in mind. Unfortunately, the ring is almost out of charge so Batman doesn't use it for long as the ring's power dies and so he gives it back to Hal Jordan to charge up and then fight Sinestro. Nice working with you. Likewise. And in the series, Batman the Brave and the Bold, Batman doesn't technically wield a Green Lantern ring. I'm afraid one who's not of the core cannot wear the power ring. However, three Green Lanterns charge his Batsuit with Green Lantern energy that augments his suit and creates the Green Lantern Batsuit. This Batsuit essentially has the same powers as a Green Lantern ring, allowing Batman's willpower to manifest itself as green energy. And another Batsuit that has the willpower energy of the Green Lantern Corps is the Insider Batsuit. Now technically this doesn't create the same energy as a Green Lantern Ring, but it does generate a similar green energy of willpower that can be used to blast enemies. Again, it's not technically an official Green Lantern Ring as it's a Batsuit, but it is still worth mentioning. And in the Elseworlds story, Batman in Darkest Night, we see an alternate world where Batman ends up becoming a Green Lantern instead of Hal Jordan, which changes the world considerably, as he is able to stop the Joker from ever being born, and Catwoman ends up becoming a member of the Star Sapphire Lantern Corps of Love, and Wonder Woman, Superman and The Flash end up becoming Green Lanterns as well as Batman. Sinestro becomes Batman's nemesis after Batman took him down from being Korrigar's dictator, and then Sinestro goes on to found the Sinestro Lantern Corps and ends up killing Alfred. This leads to Batman leaving Earth to hunt down Sinestro and get revenge. And in the Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham video game, there is an unlockable and playable Lego Batman who wears the Green Lantern ring, and he is named the Darkest Knight Batman after this Elseworlds comic where Batman becomes a Green Lantern. And there is also the Green Lantern Batman mod that is available in the video game Injustice Gods Among Us. There are also Green Lantern mods available for the Arkham game series. Take this. Get it analyzed and start searching the hospitals and emergency rooms. Anyone with this blood in them will be dead within 24 hours. The White Lantern Corps. In the Brightest Day storyline, which came after the Blackest Night comic event, Batman was briefly given a White Lantern ring very briefly, as he didn't actually want it and it was forced on him by Deadman, who wanted to get rid of it and genuinely thought that Batman was the best person to wield it. But the ring decides that Batman is not the one who has chosen to wield the White Lantern Corps ring, and it goes back to Deadman instead. And next to the first time Batman had Sinestro Corps ring, this is probably the shortest time he actually wears a power ring. 
There is also a mod for the game Injustice Gods Among Us, which lets Batman wear a brightest day Lantern Corps outfit. <laughs> There are also White Lantern Corps mods available for the Arkham game series. Though again, this is just a modification to his skin and doesn't actually give him any powers associated with the Lantern Corps. The Black Lantern Corps. In the Blackest Night event, Batman did turn up wearing a death ring, but it wasn't technically Batman. A black ring is placed on the corpse of Bruce Wayne, but at the end of the story arc it's revealed that it wasn't actually Batman, as Batman is not dead, but has instead been sent back in time. It's a long story, but basically the corpse isn't his, and in fact it belongs to a clone of Bruce Wayne. And the Black Lantern Corps ring was only given to this corpse of Bruce Wayne to form a link between him and the other Justice League members who had died and been resurrected, so that the Black Rings could then latch onto those who had been resurrected and take control of their bodies. And this was still possible even though it was a clone, because they all believed it was the real Bruce Wayne, who they obviously had a strong emotional connection with, having fought side by side for all these years. And after this link was formed, the Bruce Wayne clone crumbled back to just bones, so we never even really saw him use this ring at all. It was actually because of this that the Justice League members realised that Batman wasn't actually dead. Because if Batman had actually been dead, then a Black Lantern Corps ring would be able to possess his body and use him against the Justice League, just as it did the other deceased heroes. And since the Justice League members probably had the most emotional connection with Bruce Wayne than any of the other deceased heroes, the only reason the Black Lantern Corps rings wouldn't bring him back to life is if it wasn't Batman's body. And thus they found out that Batman was actually trapped in time. And lastly, there is also a Blackest Night skin available for Batman in the video game Injustice Gods Among Us. And that is the four different Lantern Corps rings that Batman has wielded. Are there any other times that you can think of that should have been mentioned on this list? And which one of these was your favourite time Batman wielded a ring? And what ring would you most like to see Batman wield? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment. Stay down.